looking back at 2013 and how that situation evolved, although we were a, a long way in front at one stage of the regatta, um, that distance felt to me like it was always closing. So in a funny kind of way, it was a, it was a, a crash in slow motion. And it was a terrible situation because that final win was getting further away, not closer. When we started looking at this class, we, we looked at the ways to power the boat and obviously the conventional way of using grinders is, is like the default. Typically on, a, on an America's Cup yacht, you've got grinders using their arms to, to produce the power and using their feet to, to press buttons, so we switched that around. Using the leg muscles to produce the power and using their arms, which are obviously much more able to, to do intricate uh, and fine control of the boat. Obviously the setup that we're looking for going forward, there's a huge amount of the, the actual performance comes from hundreds and hundreds of hours of on-water testing. Uh, we obviously do a lot of off-water testing as well and computer simulations, but ultimately that has to be put to the test on the water and the hundreds of hours of testing and training we do do on the Hauraki Golf are actually key to our success going forward. So we basically are doing a lot of practicing and mock manoeuvres um, to simulate the race conditions that we'll be facing in the actual America's Cup. So one of the, the main things that I've learned over the time with Emirates Team New Zealand would definitely have to be around the psychology of each individual and how much someone's attitude can determine their capabilities towards their physical training. Sometimes with these guys the hardest thing is to tell them to slow down and, and let themselves recover. During a regatta there is always ability to go faster. You, you may have run out of time to, to build things and change things, but uh, you can change the way you sail, you can change your modes, um, you can learn a lot from the other team, so it's a constant development that can never stop. The, the boats, um, to a large extent, are one design, so the hulls are one design and the shape of the wing. But actually, I mean, the fact that the hulls are all the same shape is, is almost irrelevant because the hulls on a good lap never touch the water. And the parts which are open to design are all the control systems, but also the shapes of the appendages. So, although to the sort of the casual observer they'll all look reasonably similar, there's a huge amount of development work that goes into the, the shapes, um, sort of the hydrodynamic airfoil shapes of those dagger boards and the rudders, and also how those deflect under load. To win this America's Cup, it will, take, it will take everything. We'll need a fast boat, we'll need a highly skilled sailing team, we'll need a design team that never gives up on development, and all those things will need to come together.